Oh, wow. So we could just do this, you could do this with timing, I guess. No sense really wasting the cloak and having to wait for it each time. Clear. There's nothing, there's no windows, no, no nothing anybody can see us from. We're gonna hack into this far door first and we'll work our way over. Can we make it to the red? Yes, we can. So we'll do so. Access grant. There we go. Doesn't look like there's too much resistance in this immediate area, which is really nice. Look at this. This is crazy. All right, what's going on in this computer? The Dutchman. Bad news. Pang says windmill slipped their net. Somebody helped him, which means all those little Easter eggs he hid inside our system just became our biggest security threat. Rally the team. We might have to go line by line till we find them. <laughs> That's cool. One of the other guards was talking about a... Uh, a key logger that he had installed. That's pretty funny. Uh, yeah, we're gonna hack this too. I'm gonna try to get the data stores. I may as well. Whew. Access grant. And last but not least, let's actually just check out what's going on here. Oh yeah, we're clear. Nothing. Nobody can see us here. Oh, this is already open. Even better. These rooms are so cool. All right, this is data store central here. That clearance at that point is kind of ridiculous because access oh, granted. <laughs> okay, urgent response needed. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I thought this was going to be like some special computer, but this is just another Nigerian email. God damn it! I just got the Nigerian version of Rickworld right there, big time. Okay, I don't see these guys exactly. There's one. Nice. If I, oh, if I stand here, I'm still blocked. I think. Damn it, I can never be sure. I don't see anybody that could see us here. Well, maybe don't stand up there. All right, let's go in here. Let's make it happen. All the time I spent looking there, I could have been in and out. You shouldn't be here. Oh, Get frick. Moving. All right, all right. He can see me, of course. But once again, I'm not sure. Yeah, see, he's like, he's in piss off mode, but he doesn't freak out right when he sees me. So it's hard to tell if and when I can do things like that. But I'll come and check these computers out after I take them down. Oh, is this guy, like, coming up on me here? Yeah, I thought so. I feel like the police station all over again. That's what this feels like. And not in, like, the bad, repetitive kind of ways, but, like, in the awesome kind of ways. Oh, no. Let me go for the red. Uh-oh. 
Access granted. I got a little bit closer than it needed to be, for sure. All right. Well, whose room is this here? Got a level two PC. We got a couple of guards I gotta be careful about. Yeah, login is TYMMF. TYMMF. Passcode is eBrain. What do you need the mainframe for? Access mainframe in the open section. I need to use a computer. I think it's probably best to try to take these guys out. Okay, he's walking away, so let's hack this fast. Oh, of course, they're like the longest. Come on. Access grant. Oh, this, I didn't even notice this is a security hub. Okay, we're gonna disable this. And we're gonna turn off this camera. Now, let's start working on these guards here. I love that. See, this guy is a big heavy dude as well. Like, if I piss him off, I'm gonna be in trouble. Ooh, he's by himself though, there. But this guy then. I can be patient. Maybe they'll start talking and I can take them both down. Or I could use my, uh, my peps gun, but it's a little bit loud, isn't it? See, now I could have moved on that guy, taking him right there. That guy's gonna go around the corner. Oh man. Here's hoping they don't come walking this way. Quiet. You just be quiet. Okay. Security password, please be advised. The current password for the upper management security hub is Panjutim. The username is Gang L. All right. I don't think he can see this guy. Well, actually, I'm pretty sure this guy goes the other way. My worry is the guy beyond that door seeing us. But he's looking the other way, so... There we go. This area is ours. And an EMP. Oh, I want that so bad. All right, what can I get rid of here? I have so many beers. <laughs> Keeping them. I just can't. I promise Letitia. She needs them. You guys, you don't understand. She doesn't have an issue. She doesn't have a... It's not a problem, okay? She can stop drinking whenever she wants. All right, now it's time to check all the things. Login and password. You get so many of these logins and these passwords, but I really don't need them because I just hack everything. But I can't see 
where this other security guard is. He's on that side, but I mean, we're safe here. New biochip. I just received the new nerve prototype proto of the penthouse. Where on earth did you get this device? From what I can tell, it's light years beyond anything our research team's come up with. You're sure she wants it sent straight to manufacturing without letting research take a look at it first? The boys could learn a lot by reverse engineering it. Absolutely not. She told me herself the only people out to see it are you, Huey, and the lower factory workers Hugh selects to manufacture it. Better choose a good team. It's a massive rush order for Lim and we can't afford to have any rejects. Alright. What else do we have here? Marketing campaigns. In the past year, we've successfully upped our presence in several key markets, especially Sub-Saharan Africa and Latin America, where we were almost unknown a few years ago. But the target percentages she insists upon are really high. I think we need to be more aggressive with our marketing plan if we hope to make them. Agreed. Despite everything you're doing, there are a few vital markets that remain close to us, and I do not relish having explained to Ms. Zhao why this is so why this is so during our next monthly meeting. We need to discuss tactics. I will convene with the, the marketing staff ASAP. Okay. Boardroom. Let's see what's going on in the news. Ended up in his personal account. Oh, that's old news. We know this. Okay, nothing on there. Oh, hello. Next three decades. The horror wrought by the Malaysian H5N1 <laughs> variant vi that's the uh, the pig flu. Uh, or a variant of. Oh yeah, it says right there, coming less than a decade after the swine flu pandemic, showed the world that despite advances in medical technology, we as human beings are still just as much the prey to disease as we were during the era of the Black Plague or 1980s influenza occurrence. Scientists claim to be closer than ever to cures for cancer, AIDS, HIV virus, and other disease vectors, and we might hope that in the next 30 years, these killers might be finally put to rest. But we must also consider that our changing world brings with it new iterations of old pandemics. And so we as a species will remain under the shadow of a threat from some new and as of yet encountered confluence of viral forms. And that's true, like, if you think about it, they've been trying to cure, like, AIDS and stuff for, like, ever. And you just, you never know. And there's, there's all these conspiracy theories about, well, oh, they can already do it, they just don't because of companies want to make money and blah 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 I don't know that's a whole that's a whole debate for another day access granted yoink all right now let's check these original computers that I wanted to hack into so bad all right let's move So Access this is going to be really interesting to see what they have to say about uh, the crew that's still alive. That's insane. Okay, what's this? Penalty breathing down my neck about that new biochip order. We cannot have any production line screw-ups. Can you handle it? Because it has to be delivered to Lim Corporation for worldwide distribution within the week. It's a massive order, but when Madame Zhao barks, is there any other option but to deliver? I'll figure out something. Any idea what this thing does or why Lim even want so many or am I just being stupid to even ask? I wonder if they're trying to like implant them in people to ultimately like control or something. Similar to the guy that was like similar to the guy that Van Bruggen was hacking. I'm sending down a new nerve interface prototype that the penthouse wants mass producer delivered to Lim as of yesterday. Paperwork to follow. This one's sensitive to see. No one but you, me, and Boken's team should see the chip. Yeah, okay. So these are all just basically iterations of the same thing. There's this biochip, and they need to produce it for Lim, and that's probably not a good thing. Did I hack this already? Yep. So many computers! And drawers. Don't forget the drawers. Ooh. Passcode. Great. That's fantastic. Throw in the passcode bank. This is the eBrain computer. They all can be hacked the same way it looks like. They all have the same path. Access granted. Hiron Project Assistant. We've run into some difficulties, re the interpretation of key design elements indicated in Panchea Blueprint R01 out of one out of eight. I don't know. 
R1 slash 8000. General overview of drone suit and rig. As a direct result of this failure, the drone elements installed in the core of the installation are expiring more quickly than we'd like. Can you guys send your original designer to the Arctic station for a few days so we can consult? We'll arrange transport. From the Panchea. Okay, I'm not sure what to make of that just yet. So what do you think? Hey, YB. I had a sudden brainstorm last night. Zao wants us to increase productivity in the factory, right? And most of the people working down there are dying to get moved upstairs. So, what if we promise, <laughs> quotes, to make that dream come true by sending out an internal communication like this? The opportunity of a lifetime. You have dreamed about starting in, the, in a new... Uh, Starting a new life in Upper Hangshaw, where the air is pure and the possibilities are limitless. Now, Taeyang Medical is giving you that opportunity to live an Upper Hangshaw lifestyle. Every month, each department will choose the employee who best represents Taeyang Medical's standards of ex uh, business excellence. These employees will be entered into a draw to determine which lucky employees will be moved to the upper levels. Remember, it pays to excel at Taeyang Medical. Hell, if we actually have to pay out, we can always use a few more test subjects, right? Oh, these guys really are like sneaky little buggers. All right, we have officially... Oh, maybe not. Okay, fine. Now I'm confident we have checked everything. I think. <laughs> Ended up in his personal account. I'm sure it was just a clerical error, quipped Zhao Yunru, CEO of Taiyong Medical, as transfer of a... That needs to be quiet. We got one guy in here. Couple in this security, I'm guessing. I'm not gonna hack this door. Oh, I can just go in here. That's actually even better. Oh, no you didn't. Yes, you did. This will take us right behind security, I'm guessing. Oh, maybe not. Did he choke out another big mouth? Where's chicken? So we're strolling through the hive and the sprout starts laughing at the boss's humor. Like he's never seen a bell tower without before. Boss is already pissed off about what happened in the capsule hotel. So he gives her the stare of death. Boy, do I know that stare. <laughs> so the chick's boyfriend starts acting all tough and gets in his face with disrespect at his girl. So what does Khan do? He grabs both their heads and slams them into the ball. Bam! With blood and screams, man. Blood and screams. Oh. Alright, so is looks like back there there is a vent to get in there. Which I am going to now take. Man, I don't know if this guy can see me here or not. I'm just gonna play it safe and cloak by. But now I gotta figure out a way how to take these guys down. Both of them. I don't have anything to knock him out with. Oh, this is gonna be tough. I can maybe take this guy down. And hopefully do that quietly enough where that guy doesn't hear me, but... I'm going to take an energy bar. So I've got two just in case I need to do a back-to-back -back here. Oh, yes. Yeah. I... What? Oh, okay, good. I saw the hostile still, and I figured... That I was gonna have more guys coming at me, but... Alright, these two are down. Get over here, just in case. I don't know who's coming. If anyone. Okay, gas grenade. Boom. I should have made space for the other gas grenade that I found in the other security lab, or the security room. Because that would have came in handy here as well. Alright, now, we're clear in here. And I'm guessing right out here... This is just where I came from, right? Oh no, it's not. 
This is where I came from. Okay. There's still one guy wandering around. Oh, he was the guy in that room. Okay. Not so bad. We can handle him. All right. Let's do this. Okay, how can I... Oh, boom. I'm gonna even defend just in case. There we go. <laughs> Access granted. Access code. For security reasons, we have to change the access code to the office belonging to the Vice President of Business Affairs. It's now 3090. I'll take it. This is not a security hub. Holy peps. clear here. There's just the guy in the next room that we need to worry about. It's a level 4 hack. Looks like relatively straightforward though. I could go 4-3 or 3-4. I mean, either way. I guess 3 would be a lower chance of getting detected, so I probably should have done that, but it worked out for us anyways. <laughs> Access granted. Alright. Did it say... We got the key code for this, so it told us what room that was. 3090. President of Business Affairs. Vice President of Business Affairs. Taeyang Medical and his dirty little secrets. Okay, hostile takeover. I've... Okay. Madame, I've received a response, but nothing has changed. Do you wish me to begin approaching the stockholders? No, do nothing for now. The man is stubborn, but he can be broken. Right now, he is trusting to the strength of his connections. Those idiots in Washington who keep funding his research. Take away those, weaken their confidence in him, and he will have no choice but to sell. I will advise you when it's time. TYM condolences from Margulis. Oh, look at this. Please inform Ms. Zhao that while appreciated, her concern over Seraf Industries' ability to weather recent setbacks is completely unfounded. Mr. Seraf has no intention of selling his company to Taiyang Medical now or at any date in the future. We respectfully request that you tell Ms. Zhao to cease any and all future communications along these lines immediately. If she will not, Mr. Seraf will have no choice but to view them as hostile and take steps accordingly. So, yeah, okay. These guys are trying to just... If they can't screw them over... They're trying to buy them out, and then by making the attacks and kind of whittling them down, they make them think, like, oh, maybe we should. This is cool. Maybe we should just sell and blah, 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 blah. Now, I don't know. I guess I'm just going to take this guy down as he comes out. <laughs> yeah. Well, that'll work. I was just going to say, I don't know how we can handle this the best, but this that way is fine. Holy, he's loaded. 500 bucks. Access codes to your PC. New many access code Iron Fist. We're still looking for that other pocket secretary you lost. Interesting. So that means there's another pocket secretary around here somewhere. I'd laugh, it was just in his drawer. I don't see it anywhere in here. So maybe it could have been one of the other ones that we found or something, but... This is a level four hack, we're going in. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll work my way around. I'm going to fortify. I'm going to... I'm just going to pause it and just to play Access it safe. Granted. Lead skills, baby. All right. Mailbox administrator. The bar owner knew nothing but a lowlife in the Hotel Hanghua 
was more forthcoming. The triads are hiding our friend inside the Alice Garden pods. So that they're now referencing uh, Van Bruggen. This might get bloody. Permission to go in full force. Oh, so this is Khan. And somebody mentioned a while ago that uh, he led the attack on uh, the Alice Garden pods. So, uh, yes, you have permission. He's putting my entire future at risk. Find him and eliminate him. So are we cordoned off the building, but subjects have evaded capture. We also exposed and gave entry to a concealed room in the apartment and are waiting DSEC to do a deep hack of the hardware. In the meantime, we are conducting a door-to-door -door sweep at the perimeter. Intel suggests subject may have gone underground. Possible source of new info may be the local triad groups or more specifically Tong, standing by and awaiting your orders. That's cool. Very cool. So, not a lot of super... Inf like super necessary information that we found in these computers, but just kind of flushing out a lot of what's happening. Uh, did not want that to happen. Okay, I've got something over there I can hack. Perhaps a door. Yes. What I'd like to do is find a way to turn this thing off. To China. Taiyang Medical and you, corporate history. The Taiyang Medical was incorporated in Shanghai in 1977 as the designer manufacturer of silicon prosthetic limbs. Silicone prosthetic limbs. Throughout the 1980s, TYM grew to become a, a moderately sized company with two factories in the People's Republic of China and sales all across Southeast Asia, but it was in 2009 when Zhao Yunru, one of China's first and youngest CEOs, brought her unique vision to the company that Taiyang Medical, Taiyang became a name known around the world. Working with the Army of the People's Republic, Yunru's altruism and business acumen cemented an arrangement to supply augmentations to amputee combat veterans, making Taiyang Medical a corporate force to be reckoned with, fueling new expansion across Southeast Asia and growing African markets. Later in 2017, 2IM was invited to take part in the audacious Hangsha Island project, leading to the construction of its corporate headquarters. Just a little bit of uh, history there. Now, if I blast through here, like, I still want to check that computer. So how do I, how do I just disable this thing? Like, completely. There's got to be a way. Can this thing spot me if I'm over here? Oh, no, it doesn't spot me. Access code for elevator, new biochip, and mailbox. Again, nothing super important. That's okay. We'll hack this for the XP. I should probably be busting my ass since Megan's alive now and I should be all over that. Literally and figuratively. Uh -huh. What about Malik? I'm kind of digging that girl, you know? I don't know how I'm going to handle that situation. Whoa. Oh. That's just going to be a hassle. I'm just going to go this way. I'll punch through the wall. Hello. Whew. Okay, well, I mean, I imagine we're going to be getting pretty close to the penthouse here. So this will be a good place to take a break. But thanks, guys, for watching. I know the past couple episodes have been mostly just... Flushing out some backstory, a little bit of stealthing, a little bit of sleuthing. But, uh, you know, that's part of the Deus Ex world, and I freaking love it. Perfect. This game is perfect. Okay, bye.